Hey everyone, Jeff Teagan, Rally. Today we're looking at 2023 Toyota Sequoia Platinum with a really cool upgrade. My friend Greg owns this one, always changing the tires out. So this has the all-terrain KO2 tires, we'll talk about those. And if it's possible, he's gonna take off the trim level badging, so you'll see no word Platinum in here. But it is a Platinum, I swear. 23 Sequoia, choose from SR5 Limited, Platinum that you see here, Capstone, love the Capstone, or TRD Pro, player's choice. Which one's best for you? Platinum, clearly sporty, look at that. But it's also luxury. It's got plenty of creature comforts, luxury items, above extra features that might be desirable to you. So let's get a first look inside. This one's just purchased, but it's also lived in. So we can see how you would put two child seats in the captain chairs. I'm not going to take them out. This is a good example because that one's not clipped in, it's just extra. Ooh, panel roof. Because we wanna see how this is gonna work. This will help a lot of you with your research. Will it work for my family? Oh, look at that ambient lighting. Nice. So we've got dark accents with blue stitching, blue seat accents as well. How do you like the interior so far? You digging that black and blue? It's like the uh, NFC North, the black and blue division. 23 Sequoia pricing, it has a huge range. It goes from 58,000 all the way to 78,000. This one here, it can either be two wheel drive or four wheel drive. It'll be 70,900 for two and then 73,000 for 900. This one has some option packages on it, so it will increase the price, but that's our baseline, baby. Woo! Hey, look at that, Hybrid Max. That means it's Sequoia Hybrid. They're all hybrid. Just like on Tundra Hybrid Max, Sequoia Hybrid Max has the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged engine, 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. I'll tell you what, it's got some chops. It can fly. It can race at Thunder Road. It's matched with a 10-speed automatic transmission has the lifts, it also has a nice giant hood blanket as you'd expect, as you'd hope. All right, there we go. I think it makes sense to talk about suspension and brakes at the same time, so we'll fade out at the profile here. Well, we've got independent double wishbone suspension in the front, we've got coil spring multi-link suspension in the back, 13.9 inch disc brakes in the front, 13.6 inch disc brakes in the back. And then a natural transition, of course, into ride comfort, ride quality. For me, it's a quiet ride. It's surprisingly swift and fast. It gets up to speed on the highway really quickly. And I think it's a stable vehicle. Obviously, it's a heavy vehicle, but it's planted. Doesn't feel like it tips. It's not top heavy. Doesn't get pushed around by semis Whew, blazing by on the highway. It's a nice, nice, family road trip vehicle. Sequoia, just like Tundra, comes with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. The biggest one is intersection support. So if you're waiting at a traffic light here, waiting to turn left, it'll alert you that there might be a car coming this way or this way or a person walking in the crosswalk. It'll alert you and hopefully, potentially, it should stop you. So that's a big one that really will help you. We've all been in that situation. It's got these really fancy LED, headlights, accent lights, and ho, oh, we've got LEDs down here. That's very cool stuff. Look at this. Yes, Jeff, look at this. We've got cameras all around the vehicle so we can see just about every angle we'd need. We've got parking sensors on the side. We have, oh boy, 8.6 inch ground clearance. Every trim level does except for TRD Pro, which is 9.1. And you know, this is a giant, honeycomb shaped chain link fence here, but it fits that huge front end. We want to know it's tough, it's coming for you. Hybrid logo. What do you guys think of this? Look at the chrome surround, active grill shutters. Impressive. Fuel facts, 22.5 gallon fuel capacity. 19 in the city, 22 in the highway, 20 combined. And then if you want to get 
two wheel drive, well, you would get 22 combined. It's just like when you're on a dating profile site and you keep seeing the same faces over and over, but you're drawn to it. Well, I'm also drawn to this profile here because it is beautiful, it's stunning, it's gorgeous, it loves long walks on the beach. Hey look, the turn signal's on. To everything, turn, turn, turn. All right, so here, see the fenders. Look at this, we've got these BF Goodrich, all-terrain, KO2 tires. They are LT275, 55R20. And then look at that. It's a six lug pattern, just like you see on Tundra as well. Remember, big brakes, big stopping. It's got the splash guards here. And then as we go along, look here, we've got camera technology. We'll see that on the backup camera. Then we've got turn signal indicators in the side mirror. Blind spot right there, my friends. Gloss black. Let's get up here. I'm not that tall, but I can still hold the tripod up here. So look around. Look around, how does it look? Back spoiler, Shoo. Playing somewhere up there. I don't know. It's got auto lock, smart key, hey. And then this gloss black accents right here. So now we're gonna come around here, see the turn signal. Ooh. Me likey. The towing capacity can either be 9,310 pounds that you see on this two wheel drive, or it could be 9,010 pounds on four wheel drive. If there's one thing we content creators know, it's very difficult to show the beauty of a black vehicle on camera. We're doing our best here. Midnight black. All right, we got LED tail lights that sweep all the way around. I love that. You can pop the glass like this. The tow capacity here can be either 9,010 pounds on the 4x4, or it can go up to 9,310 pounds, woo, on a two-wheel drive. Sequoia in black, that's interesting. We've got a backup camera and a backup camera washer. Holla for that. We've got backup sensors right here, and then we've also got the kick, the kick line like the Rockettes. Whoosh, whoosh. You guys want to try it out? What you, what you, what you want? Look for the Wi-Fi symbol right here and just kick. And look here, normally I would be showing you how the power third row seats work. Instead, I'm gonna just show you how the cargo net works. That's a good second place. Look here, they've got things in here. They clip on right here. And then look, this is the flexible shelving right here. My friend chose to put it flush with the seats when they're down. And then you can do the power right there. That's cool. We've got the sun shades in full use and I'm sure he uses that for his kids to block out the sun. Got USB, look at that hidden down there in that pocket. Pretty cool stuff. So that's how it's configured for an active family. This one has the available automatic power running boards. Like that, they just come out. You can adjust that up front too to always on, always off, or automatic. This is automatic. Totally automatic. So look at the accents, look at the spot for sport bottles right there. Ooh. Okay, then we've got seat pockets. Bet his kids could use that. That's cool. These seats tumble forward using that right there. Can't do that today. And then you can also flip it forward and go to the back seats if you wanted to. And they would kind of be like that is right there. Look at this, we've got USBs, 400 watt plug-in right there. We've got rear air controls and vents. So how do I feel about these seats? They're cold right now, but it has heated and cooled front seats, so that's good. I can go forward and backward in the passenger side. I like that. I actually like this view of the camera. So it can go up. Remember, if you're short, maybe you want to sit higher. If you're tall, maybe you want to sit lower. Doesn't matter. We could do it. So we're going up pretty high. Oh, yeah, we're real high. See, my knees are touching now. 
I could twist it back down. And then what about if you're on a road trip? I got grab handles here. I got these nice chunky air vents right there. That's pretty cool. I've also got a microphone for the wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, voice commands. The passenger can do that too. You can set up at the same time and pair passenger and driver smartphones at the same time. Let's go back. Ho! So much to see, so much to do, says Smash Mouth. All right, so we got these nice accents. This is a soft surface here. That's nice. There's where we see platinum. They couldn't take that off. Can't take that away from me. All right, 14 inch multimedia, we'll show that. Oh man, there's a lot to see. It's beautiful. And then we've got this right here. This might be how you would equip it. Driver's side has the same exact power controls as the passenger, except for the one I'm hiding. Leg extender, oh! So we just push this right here and it comes out. Ooh! Oh, that really comes up. I feel like I'm in a dentist chair now. I'm a turtle. Doesn't it look like a turtle head? I'm a turtle. Leave in the comment section, who said that on the radio? I'm a turtle. Okay, so let's look in here. This is blocked out right now because it's got new window tint. You have to leave that for three to five days so it can cure. Then we've got this right here, two memory seats. We've got power side mirrors. That's nice, that's standard. And then this is the running board control right here. So it's off. Now we'll put it on auto. Okay, so see they come out like that. Lots of controls going on here. Cross traffic braking, the floodlight doors. We've got this right here. We've got the power outage. So much going on, so much to see. And we've got a power steering wheel for you and me. See that rhyme there? I'm a Dr. Seuss, real world Dr. Seuss, real life. Let's do the horn. All right, so look in here, there's a lot that we can check out. We've got the digital rear view mirror. That can also change to just the regular mirror with my head in it. There we go. That's a good view. Love this new multimedia. We've got rear air, passenger, driver. We can do it all. Heated and cooled seats. That's nice, I like that. Trailer backup guide with the straight path assist. Let's look at our views. I wish I could mix it up just a little bit. So let's do this. That's very cool. And then we'll put it in reverse. Okay, we'll look at all of our angles. Because why wouldn't we? It's on auto, we can change the grid lines. Very cool. And then let's Put it into drive so you can see like that. So yeah, that was pretty crystal clear. I'm not used to Toyota having crystal, crystal, crystal clear backup cameras, but that was pretty impressive. Y'all want to run through some screens? All the safety going on there. Okay, and then we're back again, around the world. Okay, look at our drive modes. We got tow haul mode. We just move that knob and it's gonna adjust, adjust like this, eco, normal, and sport, and cool. We got the wireless charging right there. Automatic parking brake, brake hold, that's nice. All right, we got our flashers right here. Boom, boom, boom. And then we can set up different things like, hey Toyota, what's the weather? It is partly sunny in Raleigh, North Carolina, and it feels like 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool. Hey Toyota, what's my driving range? Your cruising range is 312 miles. 
I also love how this navigation, it has over the air updates. It can update in real time and shows you exactly where you are. Points of interest, you can tell it how to get places. Well, ask it how to get places. Could do audio here. Let's turn that down. Okay, so we can scroll through. We got information about our vehicle, vehicle alerts, trip info, holla. So up top, we've got safety connect. We've got sunglass holder. We've got the pano roof. Let's open that up for you so you can see how far it extends. If you hit it twice, it'll open up all the way. So we'll shut that. And of course the shade, when you wanna throw some shade, that'll shut all the way as well. And we've got big sliders right here. Come on, with one hand, that's tough. And then it should be lighted. It is. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. What do you think of Sequoia? What do you think of the Platinum? You like those upgraded tires? Pretty sweet, right? All right. Please follow Toyota Jeff Reviews, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I appreciate you all very much. My second channel is Auto Jeff Reviews. I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers there. Got a ways to go. You guys can help. Thanks so much. Just click that link and then hit subscribe and then come back to the video. Thank you. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube for Auto Jeff Reviews as well. See you next time.